Hi everyone, I'm Miss Laura and this is my new friend Francis. It's lambing season here at the Leonis Adobe Museum and several lambs have already been born this year. Sometimes when a female sheep called a ewe is a first time inexperienced mother, she'll reject the lamb she's just given birth to and refuse to nurse and that's what happened to Francis here. So our staff stepped in to help raise him and as you can see, He's taken very well to the bottle feeding and he'll grow up healthy and strong, just like our other lambs. Mm. Okay, well now that your belly is full, what do you say we go look at the other lambs in the nursery? Come on, Francis. Ewes have one to three babies at a time with a gestation period of five months. Newborn lambs weigh between five and eight pounds and will grow to be 200 to 250 pounds as adults, like these mamas here. Newborn lambs like Francis stand up and walk within a few minutes of being born. They're hungry and need to nurse right away. Our newborns stay sheltered safely inside the barn stall with their mamas for four to six months before they rejoin the flock. Hey Francis, what do you say we walk over to the corral and visit the rest of the flock? I bet they're hungry too. Adult sheep eat hay and grasses, like this alfalfa. And because they don't have any teeth on the top, just a lower set of teeth and an upper palate, they don't bite. So when the museum is open, you can come and feed them too. And it really is a lot of fun because as I said, no worries, they don't bite. Sheep are very sensitive and they don't like to be alone. Because they're vulnerable prey animals, they stick together closely in a flock. Notice their eyes. The pupils are a long rectangular shape that allows them to see almost three quarters of a circle. Their peripheral vision is much better than ours. That helps them see and avoid predators that may be trying to sneak up on them. Just like the Leonis family back in the 1880s, we raise Merino sheep here at the Leonis Adobe Museum. Merino sheep are prized for their wool. In fact, Merino wool is some of the finest wool in the world. It's thinner and softer than other types of wool and more comfortable to wear next to the skin. For over 10,000 years, Humans have raised sheep for their wool to keep themselves comfortable. Wool has been used for everything from clothing to blankets to rugs to hats. And wool can absorb odors and noise. It'll keep you warm even if it's wet and it's fire resistant. Best of all for the sheep, their wool is a great insulator that keeps them warm in the winter and cool in the summer. Our sheep are sheared once a year in the spring after lambing season. Did you know that if you don't shear a sheep, its coat will continue to grow and grow? One year's growth of fleece is about eight pounds of wool, and one pound of wool can make 10 yards of yarn. Sheep were also kept for their meat and milk. Sheep's milk has more protein than cow's milk, and just like cow's milk, gourmet cheese and butter are made from sheep's milk. <laughs> well, Francis, I bet you're tired after all this activity. Babies need a lot of sleep. Let's get you back to the barn for your nap. Thank you for joining us today. And if you'd like more information about our animals or to learn more about the Leonis Adobe Museum, go to leonisadobemuseum.org.